The Albuquerque Police Department has a long, proud history protecting New Mexico's largest city and its people. But in the last few years, a seemingly endless series of incidents have tarnished that hard-earned reputation. What is going on at APD? Here's Dean Staley on Special Assignment. In step with our community, the motto is on every patrol car in the city. But lately, the Albuquerque Police Department keeps tripping over its own missteps. We've had a handful of officers who haven't lived up to the privilege of wearing the uniform, frankly. The number of offenses keeps growing. One of the biggest controversies to hit the department is the case of Officer Levi Chavez. He's accused of murdering his wife with his service weapon at their home. I'm innocent, Your Honor, and I plead not guilty. They think Chavez did it because his wife was about to expose a scheme by him and his cop buddies to report his pickup stolen and collect the insurance money. Levi Chavez kept his job for more than three years after her death. APD finally cut him loose in April. And just this month, APD fired Chavez's longtime friend and fellow cop, Russell Perea. The department won't say why, but a lawsuit filed by Tara's family claims Perea was not truthful when asked what he and Levi were doing the night Tara died. APD settled that suit this year and at least three others involving a bad cop, a bad arrest, or a bad shoot. The price tag? More than two and a half million dollars. And there are more lawsuits in the pipeline. Following a wave of 19 police shootings in the last 20 months, 13 of them fatal. Many of them were justified, but some have raised questions. Justice for all those who were needlessly killed at the hands of APD. The city council and community groups are calling for a federal investigation into the police department. There's a lack of confidence uh, and trust in our department and we have to restore that honor. No decision yet on whether there will be a federal investigation, but the U.S. Department of Justice is taking a preliminary look at the situation. Then there is the veteran cop convicted of tipping off his friend that the friend was being investigated for drug dealing. Federal jury convicted the Albuquerque police officer of obstruction of justice, and APD fired him. And don't forget the car accident involving public safety director Darren White's wife. The car accident was minor, the controversy major. White rushed to the scene, lights flashing, and unsteady Kathleen White admitted taking an anti-anxiety drug that warns against driving. But an officer on scene decided not to test her for DWI, then allowed her husband to take her from the scene for medical treatment. An initial investigation found she did not get special treatment because of her husband, but now the city's inspector general is looking into the whole mess. The goal is to make sure that everything was done properly. Then there's the latest black eye. Just last week, an undercover cop recorded Officer Matt Kindle offering to take care of a prostitute's criminal charges in exchange for sex. Police say he even offered her tips on how to avoid the vice squad while making money in Albuquerque. And those are just the big things. Ultimate responsibility for the police department lies not with Chief Ray Schultz, but with Mayor R.J. Barry. He hires and fires the chief and the public safety director. He's the guy elected to make sure APD does its job. We're talking about a handful of individuals out of an 1,100 member department. So what you have is 99.5% of the people out there doing great work every day. There is a member of the Albuquerque Police Department or any member of city government that doesn't do the right thing. That falls squarely and directly upon their shoulders. Not a question of policy, not a question of leadership, not a question well, I think, of... Well, I think if you didn't see swift and decisive action, I think then people would have a concern, and I would as a mayor. Mayor argues that in each case, action is being taken. In fact, the cop accused of soliciting a bribe from a prostitute last week was caught in an APD sting. And as the person who's ultimately in charge of the uh, Albuquerque Police Department, I have great confidence in our officers out there. They're doing great work on behalf of the citizens of Albuquerque. The mayor stands squarely behind his police chief. Great confidence in our officers out there. And I've got a lot of confidence in Chief Schultz as well. That was Dean Staley on special assignment. The city did pay a law enforcement consulting firm last year to study APD's problems. That report came back with almost 40 recommendations of possible improvements, including the increased use of non-lethal weapons like tasers, dash cams in patrol cars, and the hiring of less confrontational officers. Mayor Berry says it will take time to make all of those changes.